Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Believe it or not, it's a little chilly today. I got out in the woods this morning deer hunting. It was 21 degrees. Now it's about 30. Now we're at the range. I haven't got long underwears on, you believe that? But today, what we're doing is a 300 blackout subsonic boo light test. There goes little buddy on his four wheeler. Waka! But what we're doing today is a boo light test. We're gonna go back to 100 yards and test out some group testing of some subsonic 300 blackout loads. These are always some real expensive tests, but hey, somebody's got to do it, so we're doing it here on the Hootie Who Show. We're going to be flinging them out of my brand new, I just picked this up from Bass Pro Shop, stood in line three hours to get this baby. This is a Savage Axis 2 XP 16 and some change inch barrel. And on the end, I've got my Silencer Central Banish 30 Gold can. So, needless to say, this is going to be awesome. It's going to be quiet. How many different types do we have to test here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different subsonic 300 blackout loads. We're going to go back to 100 yards, group test them all. Going to do my best on the trigger. This scope, it came on this thing. It's a Bushnell Banner dusk and dawn optic super budget friendly optic the only thing i did to this rig was change out the rings it came with some really cheapo just one bolt rings i put on these wheelers that have the two bolts on each side make me feel a little bit better it's subsonic 300 blackout whitetail rig probably would have been fine with those one bolts but this just makes me feel a little bit better had them at the house so Let's get over to the bench. I'll show you all these loadings up close. Then we're gonna quit the yapping, go back to 100 yards, sling all these. It's gonna be an awesome subsonic 300 blackout group testing. And then at the end of this video, you'll know which one group's the best. Should be pretty cool. Love doing these videos. It's taken me quite a while to find all this subsonic boo lights. Let's get to the bench. I'll show you all these up close, then we'll get to slinging them. All right, guys, let me show you what we're working with here. Got them all out in the sun so we can see them good. We'll start on this end. We got some Remington 220 grain. Then we got some, remember these are all subsonic. Then we got some 220 grain Callaway Ballistics full metal jackets. Then we got some, how heavy are these? 195 grain hunting boo lots you can see the slits in the side there those might be the ones i pick for chasing whitetails also from callaway ballistics those are pretty wicked then we got some hornady black 208 grain amax is there then we've got some from my buddy lee he loaded me up these are the 190 grain sub x right there which is the same projectile that's in this factory loaded Hornady, and these are, ah, oh, they got the little sticker too low. 190, yeah, same as the exact same ones as my buddy Lee loaded there. If you like supporting local businesses like I do, hit me up and I'll let you know where you can get in contact with my buddy Lee. Then we got some S&B 200 grain subsonics. We got some Magtech 220 grain full metal jackets. Then, Honestly, I forgot that I picked these up somewhere. They weren't cheap though. We got some uh, Fort Scott munitions tumble upon impacts and how heavy are these? Uh, does it say on there? It doesn't say. Hmm. 190 grain it says there on the thing. But yeah, these are all the ones we're gonna send. Let's uh, load them up, go back to the 100 yard bench. I have this Savage sighted in with this stuff, so it all should be pretty close. We're not gonna be hitting bullseyes. The point of impact is gonna change when we do something crazy like this, but all should be good enough to be hitting paper. Gonna take my time, make us a big old target. We're gonna group test them, then we're gonna measure them with the calipers. It's gonna be awesome. The ultimate subsonic 
300 blackout blue light test. Here we go. All right, guys, back at 100 yards. Here's what I'm gonna do. We got nine to test. I'm gonna do three at a time, let it cool, and that gives me time to check all my cameras and make sure they're still recording. I'd hate to film this long, crazy video and a camera mess up, but this does have a heavy barrel on it. I'm honestly not too worried about heat, but how I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna zip my yapper. Y'all don't wanna watch a long, boring 30 minute video and you'll see all the hits right in a row. First one up, these Remington 220s. Let's have at it. Also, this is a three to nine by 40. Normally when I do group testing precision stuff, I like to have at least 24 zoomies just to make sure I'm holding the exact same spot. But hey, these are all on the same level playing field with this three to nine and I've got them all on nine zoomies. <clears throat> Here we go. Serious now, I'm taking my hat off. Nah, that's blocking the sun, Never mind. All right, so it's a good thing that I went back and checked after those first three strings because guess what? The target camera died on me, even though the battery on the screen said full, the camera died. So for these first three, I'm just gonna have to pop up a still picture of the results I got, but the rest of them I got on footage. So check it out. Good thing I checked it. Super quiet. Notice I don't have ears on. Not the greatest group you ever seen there out of the Remingtons. Those are the 220 full metal jackets. Next, we got the Magtex. These are 200 grainers. Send three of them. Ah, so quiet. All right, so far that's not too impressive yet either. Next we got the Callaway 220 grain total metal jackets. So far, those Callaway total metal jackets are the winners. Now I'm gonna pause, go check all the cameras and let that cool a minute and be right back for another string of three more. All right, there you have it guys. Good thing I checked that uh, target camera shut itself off and said low battery, even though it said full battery when I turned that sucker on. So, but at least we checked it. Next is this Callaway Ballistics Bore X 195 grain. These are those hunting blue lots. Super interested to see how these do. Hopefully that camera actually stays on down there this time, huh? Here we go. All in the same hole. I think that's gonna be hard to beat. Next, we got my buddy Lee's 190 grain sub X loads here. So those are good too. Next what we got, these S&B 200 grain. Then we'll pause and go check the target again. Those are quiet. Two of those are close, let's go down there and check it. So, let's take a review first. Remington 220s, then a Magtech 200, Callaway 220s, Callaway 195s, three touching. My buddy Lee's 190s, that's a good group, definitely under an inch. Then those S&Bs, we had two close. Next, we got three more to test, see what happens. All right, here we go. Now we got Hornady Blacks with the 208 grain Amax. I've had pretty good luck with these out of the past. Let's see if they're up to the challenge today. Woo. Wow, 
Wow, that one's up there too. I didn't bring my, uh, but those uh, blacks, two of those didn't eject for whatever reason. Huh. Come on, get out. I didn't bring my dehazer fire for my can out here. Getting a little bit hazy. Next is the Horn Eddy Subsonics. These are the 190 grain sub X's. My buddy's Lee, my buddy Lee loaded these and they did a good group for us. We'll see how Horn and he did with them. Not bad. Now we got the Fort Scott tumble upon impacts. For whatever reason, I'm gonna have to take this bolt out. Uh, this uh, axis is not wanting to eject. I'm gonna take that bolt out and see if I can fiddle with it, hit it with some oil here. But here's the last one, the Fort Scotts. Definitely some winners, definitely some losers, definitely some much quieter than others. Let's go hit that paper with the calipers, see what won. Several did very well. Somebody's probably drooling over all this brass. All right, guys, back on the bench. Measured all these with my calipers best that I could. Just going to go right down the list. Remington 220s, 1.86 inch group at 100. Magtech 200s, 1.12 inch group at 100. Then the Callaway 220s, just a hair under a 1 inch group, 0.99 inches. Then, this is the winner. Let me get all this in the sun. Get it all in the sun so we can see it nice and pretty. There's the winners right there. Three pretty much in the same hole. Callaway 195 grain. That's those borax. I believe they're called borax. Let me look. Hey, there we go. We got to give them a highlight because they won. Borax 195 grains. Shoe doggy. Then Lee's subs 190s. Also very impressive. A 0.63. Then the s and 200 grains, 1.14. Then the Hornady Black 208 Amex is also very impressive. A 0.34 inch group. That was second place. Then, which one's this? I wrote below it. Those are those Hornady Sub X 190s. Got a 0.53. And then the Fort Scott Tumble Upon Impacts. That's that group right there. Got a 0.98 inch group as well. So, Nothing too terrible in that whole group if the wind would quit blowing this. Worst was 1.86, best was 0.18, but we did get how many under an inch? One, two, three, four, five, six out of nine were under a one inch group. Pretty good. There you have it guys, subsonic 300 blackout. It's pretty awesome. 300 blackout suppressed can be good for catching deers, but you got to have the right boulot construction. At low speeds, it has to be something that's gonna still dump that energy. You don't want it just poking a hole in your whitetail. Believe me, if that's what you do, you'll have to track it a mile or not find it at all, and you don't want that to happen. But very, very cool. Appreciate y'all watching. These type of videos cost me a whole lot of moolah, so I appreciate y'all watching, making sure you're subscribed, and stay in tune for all the videos. You notice I didn't ask you to play Raid Shadow Legends or anything goofy like that. I joke, but seriously, you guys know what I'm talking about. Appreciate y'all watching. Um, there you have it. Nine different loadings, 300 Blackout Subsonic, out of my Savage Axis, XP2 or whatever it was called, I told you. But hey, Appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned for a whole lot more on this. I absolutely love it. Banish 30 gold cans, Savage Axis 2 XP, and a whole lot of boo light slinging that's real quiet. Stay tuned. I'm also filming a supersonic video.
exactly like we did this one, all the supers that I could find. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But hey, make sure you're subscribed, share the video with your friends. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. 300 Blackout, suppressed subsonic. Hootie hoo. Blow it up and get all the zooms you can.